guys, I'm Nicola. I'm Q. And this is our third week in Seoul. And it is heating up in Seoul, isn't it? It's really hot. And we don't have our air con yet. So we're kind of, uh, I don't know, in the middle of the day, it's really hot in it's our really apartment. It's really hot. It's okay in the evening, we get a bit of a breeze and that if it's not too humid. But yeah, wow. Right now. I'm sweating now. Yeah, right? we're gonna be sweating all through this because we've lights on us as well. It's lovely. So now that we're in Seoul, we have a lot more opportunities to eat a lot of foreign food, right? I kind of have this thing where I judge a restaurant on how authentic their foreign food is, if they have those pickles or not. Like maybe that's not a good way to judge it, but Koreans want to eat pickles when they eat foreign food like to cleanse the palate what is the reason for eating those pickles because foreign food is too oily <laughs> so it's this standard thing that they have these little plates of pickles and that and we went to an indian restaurant not yeti we betrayed yeti um and we went to this other one and they had the pickles and the curries were just not as good there was not as much spice and that so i kind of judge like that but i know there's some really good foreign places that like are really authentic and still have the pickles but i just feel like they're catering more to korean tastes mm. if the pickles are there like i feel like that's an indicator but one of our favorite places to go is the bistro which does not have pickles like that and they have like I'm always surprised at how different the tastes are when I go there because I do get used to Korean foreign food that still has a sort of Korean sweetness to it but you go there and what is the taste like? Tastes like American. <laughs> yeah because it's American type of food but it's really sort of almost like gourmet American food. So yeah we went there recently. Okay we're gonna go to one of our favorite restaurants which is called The Bistro. The Bistro. They've got a new menu so we're going Summer gonna... menu. Summer menu. It, well, there was torrential rain today, but that's like summer in Korea, isn't it? Yeah. Torrential rain. So, we're gonna go check it out. So, it's like American food. And sometimes it's food that I actually haven't experienced that much. So, even though we're in Korea, this is like really, really excellent American style food. I so. really like it because there's lots of meat. <laughs> But the truck roast chicken sounds good too. Mm. So, this one. <laughs> no, I can't take you anywhere. It's okay. <laughs> What's on that one? It's a pineapple. Pineapple? This is mm. pineapple? Mm. Wow. No. Okay, wait, wait. What did you order? I don't know. What is, why is there a flamingo? I don't know. This is what I wanted. <laughs> this is exactly See? what you wanted. My mobile phone. It matches your phone. <laughs> yes. I love pink. Pink is the best color. Good job. Good job. Wow. Okay, you definitely need to Instagram oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, look at that bacon. Oh, nice. Okay, I want you to try one of these ones and see. Okay. I'm not sure if you've had something like this before. Like, I've definitely had stuff like this in Australia. I but don't think I've had something like this before. Wow, wow. Bacon. Yeah. And there is a... What is it? Like a date. Like, it's like dried fruit and cheese. Wow. So it should be like a sort of sweet, savory thing. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. I don't think you've ever had something like that, have you? No. Can I eat more? No, I'm going to have one. Rack off. <laughs> mm, that's really good. Oh my god. Kayla's what like everybody but eats Kay these days. Kayla's soup? No, kale. Okay. Mm. Mm. That's really nice. Wow. <laughs> So this is toki gogi. Yes, this is okay. rabbit rabbit meat pasta. Yeah. And this is smoked pork cheek. Pork cheeks. Yeah. Pork cheeks. You love pork. Yeah. This has like an egg that you mix around. Wow, look at this. Wow. Wow, look at that. Really soft actually. Wow, look at that. There are one, two, three. I think three different types or two mm. different types of sauce. Mm. Mm. 
because they're good, you go going back for seconds because it's good. <laughs> Your only reaction was to go back for seconds. <laughs> good? That's the highlight of the meal for you, isn't it? I don't know, you need to ask if you can keep it. I like it. <laughs> Tastes like the whiskey in it. Mm. Quite strong. Mm. It's like having a drink, but in dessert form. Yeah, it's like pudding. Mm. Pud pudding whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's quite sweet in the top. It's mm. a bit crunchy. Mm. So good. Mm. I think this is a really good place for dating. Like, oh, so if you want to impress somebody. Impress somebody yeah. at like birthday or yeah. anniversary and. Romantic place. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, if you want to try something new, nice. Yeah. And if, American food, just come. If you're craving Western food and you're a little bit frustrated with Koreanized Western food, like this is where you're going to get that sort of pure Western food flavor, I think. And this is in Hongdae. In Hongdae. Yeah. Hongdae, yes. I think the bistro has also changed it up recently where you can just go there for a drink now and they've got sort of like drinking food and that type of thing Yeah, as the well. cocktail was really good. Oh yeah, I think, did you see the flamingo cocktail there? <laughs> like yeah, you can go and you can go get that. I love that one so much. <laughs> so yeah, if you are wanting to have some more of that like more American, American but like gourmet American taste, we recommend the bistro. We have a question from Heather who asks, what are the most surprising things you've encountered so far in Seoul? Or the food is close to me. <laughs> and everything is so convenient. But I think we kind of knew that, but actually being in that situation now is like, wow, this is so great. Yeah, I'm so lazy. I, I don't want to do anything today, so I just want to order some food. I was going to make lunch. He's like, no, let's just order food. <laughs> this is easier sometimes. So something that surprised me is that there's still very much, like in our neighborhood in particular, a sort of community, like there's still elements of the countryside, like the Arjun is sitting outside and like sorting through the food stuff and, and that type of thing and like the local markets is still, I think got that sort of traditional marketplace Korean feel as well. Mm. Yeah. And also there are so many young people everywhere. Mm. And I haven't seen many people wearing the hiking gear <laughs> because in our town everyone everyone wears just wears hiking gear. <laughs> less people. I see still many, but less people. I see. <laughs> and I don't think there's ne um, the mountains nearby. But in the countryside, people wear it and don't necessarily go hiking as well. <laughs> true. Very true. We're just at the markets, and we can get a lot of fruit and vegetables really cheap, right? And so many cheap ones. So coming at the end of the day is the best time to it's get best it. time because yeah. you can buy things with a really cheap price. Really cheap price. Really and they're bugging. they're just like selling off everything. Yes. Yeah. So sometimes like ten cucumber is <laughs> that dollar. Yeah. And ten eggplants is yeah. dollar. Wow. Okay, so if you know Hyunwoo from Talk To Me in Korean, he's a good friend of ours and he showed us this new park that is in Hongdae, but they redid the railway tracks or something. Mm. Yeah, it's really cool, so check it out. Okay, 
so this area used to be uh, almost a deserted area with mm. like unused rail tracks. Mm. Yeah. So um, nobody would actually walk here. But mm. Then they revamped the whole area. They developed it into a really nice, friendly mm. park for citizens. So now it's it's in the administrative system. It's in Yeonnam Dong. Mm. So Yeonnam Dong and the idea of Central Park. They're calling it by the nickname. Yontrol Park. So, <laughs> I like Yontrol it. It's, Park. Uh, it's my fourth time here, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, it's just lovely here. Yeah. yeah. It's so good in summer as well. It's really, really lovely. And there's your son running away. <laughs> <laughs> they also kept some. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, tracks. The, tra the tracks here you can yeah, see. For kids to see what it's like. June is so cute yeah. and he grown up a lot and yeah. he talks sometimes so it's so cute. What, what are some of the things that June says? Choo choo. What does choo choo mean? Samchon. Oh, <laughs> your choo choo. choo, -choo. <laughs> this is choo choo. Choo choo. Because uh, Samchon means uncle in uncle. Korean so that's something that yeah he, he will call you but you're choo choo because he can't say it. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, we have a question here from Marit who asked, Did you take your bikes to Seoul? If you did, do you think you'll get to use them regularly in the city? I took my bike from the countryside because the bike you would occasionally ride is like falling apart, right? It's not mine. And it's your father's mm -hmm. as well, right? So I have my bike, but we actually discovered there is a higher bike sort of service do you want to explain that so which is like I hire the bike but I need to return in one hour so you go from like one bike place to another like little stations yeah like there's yeah. so many places in in Seoul now yeah so you just ride bike and then just return to another place but you can check online also in the app mm -hmm. so you can just find where which place mm. close to you so you can just hire the bike yeah. and you just pay like five dollars for 30 days so mm -hmm. i'm just using it that one mm -hmm. it's really convenient like if you want to go to see your friends some other place but you don't want to <laughs> bring your bike all the time yeah, right yeah, so yeah. you just return there mm -hmm. so you just can yeah. do whatever you want okay so in seoul there are these bikes for hire that you can get so he's paid like a monthly fee and then he should be able to use one of these bikes but I have my own bike. It's there. What's this one? Alright, got your bike. And we're going to Hyanu's house. Wait, no, wait for me. Wait, wait. Being in Seoul means that we can see a lot more of our like YouTuber friends and that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we saw Nari recently at the Australian cafe. It is so hot today, so we're sitting in the cafe.
And recently we also hung out with Megan Bowen, Chon and Miguk Saddam, and Toy, Toy's rapper was on Show Me The Money, yep. and everything like that. So what do we do? We play darts, and what is this thing called? Like the foosball something? Or soccer game? Whole soccer game. I don't know, like we played, soccer we game. We played the soccer game yeah. thing. <laughs> If you have any questions, just leave questions in the comment section. And if there's some places that you want us to check out, or you know some good places in Seoul, let us know because we are new here. We, we haven't really left this area that much. It's yeah. like it's like where these like little birds that are too scared to like get out of the nest and go too far. We don't know what we're doing. So let us know and please subscribe to us if you haven't already. Check out the My Korean Husband comics on the My Korean Husband blog and the Nicola Lala webtoon and social media. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye! <laughs> what was that? Bye! Bye. <laughs>